How's it going guys? Luis is back and now I got a video, a very requested video from you guys on how to remove the ransomware virus on your Android phone, Android tablet, whatever Android device you're using. Um, uh, this is going to be a more detailed um, tutorial for you guys that haven't been able to do it with my through my other tutorial that I made. So here I have my tablet. I'm streaming it to my PC right now, and I will make a video on how to do this. This is actually pretty cool. I'm using a program called uh, Moby Zen. But anyway, um, you could tell this is my little sister's tablet. She's got all these uh, little girls' games on here. <laughs> um, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and if you have the virus, it probably locked up your screen. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to give my little sister's tablet the virus you know I don't want to risk it but I'm gonna give you guys the instructions on how to do it so you probably have your device locked right now and you can't do nothing so the first thing you gotta do is go into safe mode and the way to do that if you're using Jelly Bean Android 4.1 and up is you hit the power button hold down the power button and then you press the power off selection and you leave it pressed and then it'll give you this option here reboot to safe mode and you can just uh, hit OK now if you're using uh, 4.1 and below you gotta hit the uh, power button press power off or restart the instructions are right here I will post a link on the on the description of the video for this uh, page right here uh, so you hit the power button then you press power off or restart. Restart if powered off. And then hold volume down button while booting up. This is on the older Android devices, 4.1 and below. And 4.1 and above is just how I showed you. You um, just hold on. You uh, tap and hold the power off selection. And it will give you safe mode right there. We're going to go ahead and go into safe mode right now. Now it's going into safe mode. Now, unfortunately, guys, the tablet won't connect to my uh, to Moby Zen if it's in safe mode. So I won't be able to show you guys on the actual screen here my tablet on safe mode. So I'm booting it back to normal mode. So the difference between safe mode and normal mode um, in safe mode, it'll show the safe mode logo on the on the corner of the screen on your tablet, and it will only run system apps only system apps it won't run the third-party virus so that gives you the chance to uninstall it and we'll get to that here in a bit all right guys so here we have the tablet back in normal mode unfortunately I won't be able to film this in safe mode but like I said right here it'll show on the bottom left hand corner of the screen it'll it'll show right there safe mode it'll look the same now after you're in safe mode you go ahead and go to settings Where is it? My little sister has so much junk in here. Oh, there it is. Settings. We go down. Go to apps. Now here you should be able to find the virus app that locked up your phone. Now remember you're in safe mode. So you should be able to access your, your Android device now and be able to look through this list. Now, the virus is going to disguise itself as Flash Player, uh, Kohler, and a an variation of other names. So just look through this list and look for a suspiciously named app. If it says Flash Player, just to let you know, I don't think Android, phone, I, I don't think Android devices even use Flash anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if it's Flash Player, Kohler, and there, there's a couple of other ones, but just find it on here. It, you're going to be able to notice it real quick it's gonna be something that looks suspicious if you don't know what that app is go ahead and uninstall it so what you do is you you select it and you on the upper right hand corner here you would you will see the uninstall button you just hit uninstall and that'll uninstall it now a lot of you guys are running into the problem where the uninstall button 
is grayed out and you can't uninstall the app. To fix that, thanks to one of our uh, subscribers at Luis Tutorial TV, let's give thanks to David Schalberg. He gave us these instructions on how to remove the virus if the uninstall button is grayed out. According to his instructions here, and it actually does work, go to security in the settings. So let's go back. And here we will go ahead and find security. There it is right there, security. Select security. Click into device administrators. And here it is right here, device administrators. Let's go ahead and tap that. Now the virus is going to be listed on here. Of course, our Android device manager has admin privileges. That's why it's checked. Now, the virus will be listed on here. All you got to do is uncheck it and click on or select deactivate, and that'll do it. And now you can go back and uninstall the virus because it will, the grayed out button will now be clickable or touchable. All right, guys, that's how you do it. So, just to sum things up, you go to security, device administrators, and in here the virus will be listed. You uncheck it. Once you uncheck it and uh, hit deactivate, then we go back again. We go to apps again. Find the virus, select it, and uninstall. We hit the uninstall key, hit OK and the virus will be gone. Alright guys, hopefully these instructions will help you guys out. I know you guys have been asking me to make videos for a while and I'm gonna stop, I mean I'm gonna start making a lot of videos now. Alright guys, a on Android devices, more PC tutorials, software reviews, app reviews for Android and Apple devices. Alright guys, so let me know. Go ahead and comment on the video. Let me know if this video helped you out. Let me know if I skipped anything. I'm always open for suggestions. And again, let's thank David Schalberg for sharing with us and uh, showing us these instructions that a lot of people, a lot of you guys needed to fix this problem. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to be uploading a bunch of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.